So here we are today at the Auberge Ontario. Uh, you uh, you're greeted at the uh, reception area there and the car stops briefly in front of this cobblestone courtyard and the uh, chorus of conch shells uh, toot your arrival. So you're greeted with a sort of a procession of, uh, of amenities and uh, very, very beautiful, beautiful scenery. Um, today we're gonna be exploring this particular room. There do not disturb signs on, but this is room 18 uh, in building one of uh, the Auberge Ontario, Ontario. So when you go in, you're getting the Mayan greeting for earth, uh, wind, water, and fire. And then that's how they sort of welcome you to the, to the, uh, to the property and to your home for a few, few weeks or days. Um, initially, you walk in and it's uh, an extended hallway. Uh, the thing you have first is the living room. The living room uh, overlooks the balcony and then, of course, there's a great big TV and all these Mayan sort of accoutrements are just uh, really engaging. Everything means something. I have no idea what it means, but it's uh, culturally appropriate and very, 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 very pretty. Good Lord. So nice. Um, before we leave this room, the second bathroom is over here, uh, and then this is just a gigantic closet that uh, we couldn't even use, just too big. Back to the living room for a second, with all the little baskets and books and things like that. This is the uh, beginning of the patio. Um, and overlooking the um, overlooking the beach, a little sailboat out there. They go out there to a reef where they look at the different types of fish on the reef, including the stingrays, sort of a stingray beach. Um, this is the, uh, a couch and a little picnic area with two chairs, uh, two more chairs and a table and two loungers, and the plunge pool at the, uh, at the end of the deck. Um, the beach is about a, you know, a one minute walk away. So we're going to go back in to the living room and then going down to the coffee area and the refreshment area. This is the uh, bedroom. Bedroom overlooks, in this case, overlooking the Caribbean and uh, another big TV that gets opened and closed with the, with the wicker stuff. Lots of wicker. They must have had a lot of wicker back then. Um, Arlene's here right now. Hi. Happy birthday, Arlene. We're celebrating her birthday this weekend. And then the other half of the exterior patio has a plunge pool and uh, just a different view of the, of the area and the... Uh, and the uh, you know, Caribbean. Um, it's sort of walled off so you can swim in there if you want to inside that, inside that break or walkway. The sun comes up, of course, in the east. Sun rises in the east and sets in the west and we'll be able to see where the sun sets over there in a minute. This is the uh, walk-in shower with one of the world's largest shower heads, a rainwater shower head. It's ginormous, pretty entertaining. And then a double sink vanity and the uh, um, bathtub separate from that, obviously. But then we have the second powder room and the main closet um, where all of our stuff is. And the uh, Secondary closet with a bunch of junk in it. Uh, sweeping back over the bedroom again. Uh, bathroom. And now the sun rises in the east, of course, and sets in the west. So when the sun's setting over the mangroves, you get to see the sunset. You come out on your little patio out here and you watch the sunset over the entrance and over the, uh, over the field of uh, mangroves. It's uh, quite stunning, quite beautiful. Perfect weather, and it's uh, mm, delightful to be here. So, 
with no further ado, bye Arlene. Bye Tom. Uh oh, that's the tricky part. Bye from uh, Auberge, Ontario, and uh, just outside of Cancun. Having a good time. She's having a good time. <laughs>